Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. You are welcome to my YouTube channel Pharmacy with Hemant. Today I am here with new video including calculations done for IV fluids. IV fluids are given to patient in several conditions such as hypovolemia, dehydration, certain infections. There might be condition to transfuse of blood during severe injury and surgery etc. So the flow rate of IV fluids should be controlled. On your left hand side you can see regulator of IV set which controls the flow rate of IV fluid in patient and on right hand side you can see fluid chamber which is helpful to see the fluid flow rate so in this video we'll learn how to calculate the flow rate of IV fluid so let's begin this is the IV nozzle which get into the IV fluid bottle this is the air vent which supplies air in IV bottle so that flows is continue and this is the fluid chamber where we can inspect the drop of fluid so let's begin in our topic and our topic is calculation for IV fluids we'll use this formula that is volume to be used divided by hours to be given over which unit will be milliliters per hour and the main thing that we have to remember is clear fluid have 20 drops in 1 ml and thick fluids have 15 drops in 1 ml and you will get confused in this clear fluid and thick fluid clear fluid means normal saline ringer lactate dextrose these comes under the clear fluid whereas thick fluid means uh, proteinous preparations protein preparations plasma blood plasma or you can say blood if you are giving these type of uh, things by IV root they are thick and they are only 15 drops per ml whereas clear fluid are 20 drops per ml now we have two questions which we will practice here and uh, you can see here that uh, first question is here doctor prescribed 500 ml of normal saline infusion fluid over two hours how many milliliters per hour and how many drops per minute should be given there are two questions actually in this one is we have to find milliliters per hour and next one is drops per minute so uh, as we saw that previous formula which we have to use here is volume to be infused infused by hours hours to be given over okay now see this is the our volume that is 500 ml we have to give over two hours so if we'll divide this we'll get 250 you can use calculator if you want 500 divided by 2 if you'll do then you'll get 250 250 milliliters per hour this is the answer of first question this is the first question okay now we have to calculate another thing that is drops per minute so 250 divided by we know that one hour equals to one hour equal to 60 minutes so we have to divide by 60 here if we divide 250 by 60 we'll get 250 divided by 60 will get 4.166 as you can see 4.166 milliliter per minute but we have to get drops per minute so as we know that 1 milliliter equals to 20 drops as I told you the, here that is it is the normal saline infusion so it is the clear fluid so clear fluid consists of 20 drops in 1 ml so we have to we, can, we have to multiply it that is 4.166 multiplied by 20 will get answered that multiplied by 20 will get 83.33 83.33 
three three sorry drops per minute this is the answer for this second question second question is also same but uh, you need to practice for this so that you can know that doctor instructed nurse to transfuse one liter of a ringer lactate solution over eight hours how many milliliters per hour and how many drops per minute should nurse transfuse that solution here is also two questions milliliters per hour and drops per minute same as before so here the volume is one liter one liter means one liter equals to 1000 milliliter right so 1000 milliliter divided by eight hours so that you'll get you can use your calculator 1000 divided by 8 you'll get 125 your answer for first question is 125 milliliters per hour this is for the first question and now we have to get drops per minute right drop for getting drops per minute you have to do 125 milliliter then you have to divide it by 60 minutes that one hour equal to 60 minutes so if you will divide it with 60 minutes then 125 divided by 60 will get 2.08 that is 2.08 milliliters per minute but we have to get answer in our drops per minute so as i told you clear solution have 20 drops in 1 milliliter so we have to multiply 2.08 with 20 so 2.08 into 20 will get 41.6 41.6 drops per minute so for one liter of ringer lactate solution which should be given for eight hours we have to give 41 or you can round up round up to 42 42 drops or 41 drops in one minute so that it can finish in a watching friend if you think this video was useful for you please don't forget to like and share this video with your friend and if you are new for my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you can get notification on time stay safe stay healthy keep watching be updated thank you